What's going on, everybody? It's David for the 80s, and you are now entering the Cinema Chop Shop, so park your ass right there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the yeah. like button, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you check the link below, you see a Patreon account, you click it, you become a member. All you got to do is try to recommend movies and music and trailers from the reactors to click the link. Now, with that being said, we are here today with a special guest in the building. Go ahead and tell them what your name is, where you're from, et cetera, et cetera, but don't gangbang. <laughs> uh, yo, it's your boy, D, from DNJ Movie Reviews, and we're here with your boys. It's in the chop shop. So we're going to get up in this and we're going to see what we're talking about. So yeah. let's go. Yeah, so today we're doing a little bit of Laker talk. But before I do that, make sure you guys head to DNJ Movie Reviews. I'm going to drop a link in the comment section down below so you guys can check out the channel. The channel has been going crazy with the reviews. Well, the reactions, actually. They've been doing a lot of fire reactions and they've been getting a whole lot of love. And I don't want that to stop. So make sure you guys continue the movement. Uh, I now, appreciate you. Know, ain't no problem. No problem. So. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a little bit of Laker talk, NBA talk, a little bit of everything. So, but it's all sports related, all basketball related. So first and foremost, I wanna talk about the relevant topic of the situation. So far, we are in the Eastern and Western Conference Finals and we have the Golden State Warriors versus the freaking Dallas Mavericks, which I never in my life thought yeah. Dallas would have pulled it back together that quick, but hey, we're here. Luka. I didn't think Luca was going to be able to put some team on his back like that. I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah. Especially the, since they traded for Zingas. I mean, yeah, they, I mean, they had to, they had to do something. I mean, you got uh, Dinwiddie from the Nets coming over and I think he, I think he was, he's a better fit. I mean, cut, I mean, dude's taller than Dinwiddie. So it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's different. It's very different not seeing him in the playoffs because, you know, we need that, you know, Dallas needs that link and they don't have that link. But I mean, they do got some three point shooting that who actually almost it can match with Golden State. So, I mean, this is this is a good series. I mean, Dallas got Boban. Down, though. But who? Boban. Yeah, he's he's doing good. I mean, yeah, I'm, they're, they're streaky. Boban knows his role. That's the biggest thing about Boban. Absolutely. Yeah. He knows his role. Like, stand your ass in the paint, block a shot. <laughs> Pick and roll, right. get a rebound, put it back in, whatever you need to do. Just play defense, get rebounds, put backs, easy pick and roll. And he's been expanding oh, yeah. the range, hasn't he? He has. He has. He has ex uh, extended it. I mean, his, he in that corner or he's in that, you know, the other the other way that he is actually is doing really good. My, my, my camera thing is messing up. My bad, guys. My bad. I got to get me a new one. Look like I don't have to go to Walmart. It's just a little, <laughs> just a little tipsy. Just a little tipsy. It's okay. <laughs> You got it. Um, yeah, because I noticed that I, I noticed it a few years ago that he would take shots from the three point range, but I, I and I noticed he would hit it, but it wasn't something that right. he was constantly doing. Uh, he just takes it when they give it to him, kind of like Giannis. Yeah, Giannis. Uh, yeah, I mean Giannis is, is, is he, he's he's just like him. Yeah, Giannis he's takes like, it if you give it to him, like Giannis. But yeah, he, I mean, go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Giannis is, I, I can actually give it to him that he actually has improved his shooting. You can tell. You can yeah. tell that he has improved his shooting. If he gets some more work into his shooting, he's going to be a dangerous player. He's already dangerous coming from one end to the other. But just think about it. If he is, what, 6'9", 6'10"? Yeah, he's about 6'10", bro. He's tall. Okay. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he knocks down three-pointers or off-the-dribble jump shot, he's going to be deadly. Because he already kind of has that mid-range. His mid-range is a little bit more consistent than his three-point shot. That's Absolutely. Good. But, um, yeah. yeah, man, like, that's – see, the thing is Giannis is figuring it out. He don't want to end up like D-Rose where it's like, I'm going to just crash nah. the lane until I get a foul or I just, I just make the shot or whatever. He's going to, mm -hmm. like, I'm going to make it work. So, right. but let's, let's stick to the people that are actually in the playoffs, which is surprising that okay. Milwaukee got knocked out. I was super surprised by that. Were you? Which one, the Bucks? Yeah, I was surprised that Milwaukee got knocked out by the, the Yes, yes. And My I didn't God. think Middleton I thought they was gonna win. that bad. Yeah, I thought they was going to win. I thought the Bucks was actually going to pick it up. And I thought, you know, um, I just, they wasn't gelling together. I mean, Holiday was playing good. I mean, he'll play good. He'll take it off. Play good, take it off. Play good, take it off. I mean, this is a playoffs. You got to play good 100% of the time when you hit that floor. So yeah, from beginning to end. It was, I mean, they, they lock, honestly, Boston locked them down. I mean, they and locked them down. That's surprising because Boston has a hole in the middle. 
Yes. Al they Horford is not a defensive player. I'm just going to say that up top. He he's not. He's like a, he's like a four. He's yeah, like yeah. he's like a um who who's a good four. Um what are we talking about? Defensive fours? Are we talking about offensive like, four? Offense. No, a four. Uh you got center, you got your power forward, you got your Giannis. shooting guard. <laughs> Giannis, yeah. is, Giannis is a pretty good four. Yeah. Giannis True. is the best four in the league right now. KD switches yeah. from three to four sometimes. Uh, yeah, but I mean it's KD. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't know why he never um why he never uh loved that nickname, the the Slim Reaper. I thought that was the hardest nickname ever. And he just didn't like it. <laughs> Okay. He is slim. He is he is very skinny. But that's a like, hard ass so nickname. Hard. Like the slim reaper, bro. That's hard. That sounds like a serious yeah. But um I, yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, I didn't I didn't expect Milwaukee to get knocked out. I definitely didn't no. expect them to get knocked out by Boston. Uh no. and, you know, Robert Williams, their center, uh, that comes off the bench mm-hmm. with energy energy spark, he showed what he was right. about last year when he was blocking every damn thing. And he blocked every, thing, yes. Yeah, bro. The only thing about him, the only questionable thing about him is his health. Like, I know that he's been kind of, like, in and out this season, but so far he's yeah. been able to stick it out through in the playoffs, and I know he's been, like, a really key piece coming off the bench, especially for the energy component. Um, mm-hmm. True. I don't want Boston Facts. to make it, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a Laker fan. I can't have Boston make it to the finals. Correct. I am I'm I mean, completely against that. It's against my religion. Tatum is showing out. Tatum, you know, Brown, uh, Dude from Tennessee, I forgot his name. Uh, uh, Brown, Tatum, and um, damn, what's his name? See now you guys, I forgot his damn name. So uh, Marcus, yeah. Marcus Smart. Marcus Marcus Smart as a guard, he is playing the point guard position right. That's yeah. what he is doing. He is playing it perfect. So I mean, he, them getting not you know him not playing the first game, you know you can tell Miami was like okay we're gonna run and run and run. Now he came in in that second game. He stopped that. He stopped yeah. that. So, I mean, I can tell that, you know, you're from L.A., Boston. You know, they don't. <laughs> the rivalry. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's a very, you know, Bird, dang, Magic Johnson. Yeah. So, come yeah. on. Yeah. We got that rivalry, man. I wasn't even. And then also even when, when Kobe versus the um the, the Boston three, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we had. Absolutely. Yeah. Rondo, Paul Pierce, and KG. Yeah. Kobe versus the Boston three, man. I was here. And he for still him. beat him. Yep. <laughs> but uh, so yeah. So honestly, the, the but okay. this to me is the most surprising NBA. This is gonna be the most surprising ch- NBA championship. It's four teams that mm-hmm. nobody expected to get this far. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect Boston to make it to the to the final round or okay. at least the conference playoffs. I didn't expect the Mavs, nigga, out of any out of all teams, the Mavs. Yeah. I didn't expect the nobody. Mavs, bro. I thought the Grizzlies had a way better chance than the Mavs, but. Grizzlies got paired up with Golden State, and it just was a toss of the coin. So it is what it is. Because yeah. who did who did the Mavs beat? Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix, which is surprising, bro. Yeah, that's surprising. And then that last game, they held Phoenix to all time lows. I ain't never seen that before. Man, and- look, look, listen. Dallas knew what they had to do to beat Phoenix. They had to stop Booker, and they had to stop Chris Paul. And what Luca was on. Uh, on Booker, shut him down. Period. And uh, one of the who was our guard from uh, Dallas? Who who was it? Um, Hardaway, not Hardaway. Hardaway was I was like Hardaway Junior. is playing. Oh, you talking about like that, Hard- that that kid that's about to get a big old paycheck? I know. Oh, he gonna get a bag. He's, he's gonna get a bag. Big paycheck. Yeah, and I know. I'm talking mean, about. They locked him. They locked Chris Paul down, and they couldn't do anything. Nobody. Everybody. See, Luca had an advantage of error. Luca 6'8, probably 250, 260. If you put somebody small on him, he's gonna take him down low in that post. Is it Brunson? Some- Jalen Brunson. Brunson, yes. Jalen Brunson. Yep, Jalen Brunson, yep. bro. And if you put and you, you put somebody big on him, he's going to go straight to the goal and gonna kill whoever's in there. I'm sorry. Luca is is deadly. Because yeah, they switch because Luca plays a... Uh... Luca plays power. They put him on that point, right? Don't they run Luca? Yeah, they put him at point, power four, shooting guard, everything. Well, I know Whatever they switch want. him, but he primarily runs up against. He run primarily brings up the ball and runs point, right? Yes, he does. Oh. Correct. All right, so look, so this is the thing, and this is what okay. I've always said. All right, Luca. Even though I feel like he would still do this against any competition, 
Luca mm-hmm. is when they do stuff like that, Luca's getting the benefits that Ben Simmons used to get. They used to run Ben Simmons at point, and Ben Simmons, right. used to, Ben Simmons used to run through them point guards like nothing. Because mm-hmm. this dude is like three times a height, three times a size, and he used to just run through them. So like when you have, yeah, a, he did that at LSU, and he did it at when he was in Philadelphia. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. So it's like you put them against smaller competition, you just gonna run them down like it's whatever. Oh yeah. So like yeah, you are gonna get crazy buckets. But um, I don't know, man. Like this is a very very unique playoffs. Like I said, I didn't think Golden State was gonna bounce mm-hmm. back this quick. Did you think Golden State was gonna bounce back this quick? Nope. Because I thought when 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 Curry got hurt and um, you know I didn't think he was gonna come back this fast. And start shooting like this, and he is. He, I mean, the first two games, the first game he was like, ah, he had twenty one points. Now this game, he showed out. He is showing out. He, this is why he's the MVP. This is why he won the MVP because yeah. of this right here. So I mean, you got what? You got Clay Thompson is back. I mean, he's not hit his hundred percent self, but he's going to the goal. He's shooting off the dribble. Uh, you got, uh, you got uh, what's his name? Um, Dang it! What's their post Draymond player Green? or their power forward? I swear, Draymond my mind. Green. Draymond Green. He still, yeah, Draymond Green. He still got a mouth, but that's what I love about him. He hustles and he fights and he protects his team. So, and he, they're doing good. Pool. Jordan Pool, bro. Who I was just about to do there. this, bro. I'm telling you, like, Pool. They had because they had what's his name? Like, I, I don't know if they still have him, but I know like last year they had like Damian Lee, right? They had Lee, yes. Somebody, I think it's Damian Lee or Damian Lee or something like that. And that dude was mm-hmm. scoring. Kerr yes. just knows how to get things from his guards. I'm, I'm convinced. Absolutely. Kerr knows how to get the best out of his guards. I'm convinced. Like, it's like, cool looks like a freaking monster. And I have to ask you this question. Okay. Does the rise of Jordan Poole make Klay Thompson tradable? I wouldn't. It's Clay. It's, it's Clay, though. No. I, I'm going to call it like so. this. I'm going to say it on like this. If okay. the trade is right, I'm doing it. Okay, so who would you trade them for, though? Like, if you put, if you take, if you take Clay out, put Poole in Clay's place, where do you want Clay to go? Or who you want to trade for Clay? I don't know. It's going to have to be somebody worth it, though. I know that much, like, because Clay ain't no... Okay. Clay, Look, here's the thing about Clay. Right. He's an amazing spot up shooter. He plays absolutely. Amazing, he plays amazing defense, but that man cannot absolutely. shoot. Absolutely. He, he can't create his own shot. I'm gonna be honest with you. He's not a driver. He's not a dribbler. He can't create his own shot. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, Poole can do all of that. I don't absolutely. Think, I don't think he's as good as a defender as Clay. Obviously. No, nah, I don't think he's a good defender. Yeah. Exactly. So. But you can mask that with yeah. Draymond and whoever else is in the middle. Um, right. But if the trade is right, I don't know who I'm like. I ain't gonna lie. Like if they said, "Hey, we'll trade you Brandon Ingram for Clay Thompson," I'm doing that shit. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if they told yeah. me, yeah, 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 uh-huh. bi for Clay, I'm doing it. Okay, I got one for you. Okay. Remember, I put in a uh, our little group conversation. Um, Clay Thompson for rest book and Anthony Davis. If I'm going to state, I might make that trade only for mm-hmm. Ant- only for Anthony Davis, though. But I don't want Westbrook. I'd rather take THT. Mm, that's a good one. I mean, it seems like THT is not playing where he needs to be playing because he got that bag. And now he was like, he, he seems like he don't want to play no more. No, it's because I, mean, they gave, I like THT. They gave him too much freedom. They got it. They kind of gave him a freedom and they kind of told him like, all right, like, you know, like you, you showed your potential. Cause his potential, his potential fluctuates. Mm -hmm. Like he'll be scoring high one game. Yeah. One minute he's scoring 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it just depends. Ah, Like, okay. I wouldn't want Westbrook. I wouldn't want Westbrook. No. I mean, what's okay. Remember when, LeBron went to Miami with D Wade and Chris Paul with Chris uh, Chris Bosh, right? Yeah. You know they everybody thought you know I'm gonna win one, two, three, four. Everybody was like, oh yeah, but everybody knew they weren't gonna win that many. 
But I mean, they did win back to back, but you know, they had a mesh. I think Westbrook just needed to get that one season in LA under his belt. Just that one. Yes. You know, everybody's saying Westbrook and his family and everything like that. I just think Westbrook just needed that one season under this belt and see where it goes and see how it is. I don't, think, I don't think the coaching staff knew what they wanted to do with him. Because in order, for, I don't, in order for Westbrook to work in L.A., you got to give him cutters, mm-hmm. not spot-up shooters. True. You have, like him and A.D. got to run a pick and roll. Yeah, they, they have, have to. to run a pick and roll. Because, I mean, LeBron's going to bring the ball up court. So he's going to find you wherever you go. He's going to find you. Exactly. So it's like you have to run a pick and roll. Like with uh, AD and Westbrook, because think about it, huh? Westbrook made Stephen Adams look really good. Yeah, and now you see Stephen Stephen Adams, and he was with the Pelicans, and you see him now with the Grizzlies, mm-hmm. I believe. He's with the Grizzlies now, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, he is with the Grizzlies. Yes, he's with the tattoos. De- yeah, he's with the yeah, Grizzlies. Yeah, he's a decent big man. But at the same time, Westbrook mm-hmm. made him look a whole lot better. He didn't get the time though. But yeah. still, even he was breaking when the he defense was, down. Was when he was with the Pelicans, though, he got time. And it's just it showed you that mm-hmm. Westbrook made him look better. Because he knew his place, yeah. he knew how to do it, he knew how to find him, and you know, it is what it is. But right. I just don't think that Westbrook fit in LA, bro. Like I would have took you could have gave me a, a freaking role player instead of Westbrook, <laughs> and I would have been happy because I just right. looked at it and I was like, that's too many people that need the ball in their hand. LeBron ain't mm-hmm. no spot up shooter, he ain't never been one. Nah, he, he wants to be a spot up shooter. He don't want to be uh-huh. in the paint. He's fragile as hell. Right. And then, and then Westbrook is not a mid range jumper. He's not a three point shooter. He's mm-hmm. and he's been and for some reason this year seemed like the year that he just missed every single layup, even if it was every like, layup. My God. Yeah, and it was just like I couldn't. I just can't deal with it. Like just dealing with that nonsense. I was like, yo, like this is why I didn't want him on the team. It looks. People have to get over this. Like it looks good on paper, shit. Like it does look, yeah, it does look good on paper. I mean, you got yeah, like look at our team this year. Like the Lakers look dope as hell on paper, but then it's like once you get to it, you like, yo, that shit was terrible. DJ didn't work out. He was trash. Carmelo Anthony was showing his ass every once in a while. Sometimes, yeah. But then I heard that the old Anthony. I heard all the vets were grilling the youngsters. And I'm like, yo, these youngsters is what's keeping you guys in this shit. Monk is keeping mm-hmm. you in this shit. Uh, what's his name? Reeves is keeping you in this shit. Like, all these young cats is trying. Great guard. Yeah. Yeah, all these it's just, are trying. It's just, I don't, I, I don't know. It's just defense. They're defense. It's like, they'll be up so big, 19, 20 points. Boom, they'll let teams back in. Like, what are y'all doing? I, that's one thing I don't like about, you know, I, I love about the NBA. I mean, I do and I don't. Is that Okay, Dallas was up 19, third quarter, and you get beat by 12, 15. That's where's the defense at? I don't like I, how LeBron tries to get mad at everybody else, but he be giving up on defense too. He does. I've yes, watched he does. I'm a big LeBron fan. Watch. He does. I've watched him walk up the court. I've watched him check himself out the game, and then that's just like unacceptable behavior. In my words, right. I will always say this. Kobe would never, like, you get what I'm saying? Kobe would never, bro, never, ever do that shit that LeBron doing. Like, nah. Kobe would lose that game with pride and go back there and grill everybody. Oh, yeah. I, I just, it just, I don't know. It, 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 it upsets me that, I mean, you got all, the Lakers look so good. Everything looks good. Injuries. People getting sick. Not playing defense, not doing this, not doing that. I'm just like, y'all didn't even make it to the playoffs, not even the buy-in game. Yeah, we didn't even get into the tourney. That's crazy. And LeBron's always been to the tourney. At least, right? But it's like, it's just something about L.A. I don't know what's going on. Like, it's weird. Like, this is what I've always said since the okay. beginning of time. Okay. When the Lakers first blew it up because we lost, we lost an opportunity to get Dwight Howard. I said, mm-hmm. the Lakers need to just buy into this shit, trade everybody with value, and then just basically, say that. Like, I was like, trade everybody of value and try to get as much as you can. And I even said it that one year, because I was watching, um, that was the year when Boston blew it up. 
And I was just like, Boston is I, I, what I said before Boston even started doing this. Mm -hmm. I said, if I'm the Lakers, I'm trading everybody, anybody with value to get some picks okay. back or to get some young role players. On top of that, I am also calling teams to help them facilitate trades because at the time there was like a big free agency and people were trying mm -hmm. to dump salary in order to make space for, for people. And all you got to do is charge them a, either a couple picks or some good players and be like, mm -hmm. all right, I'll, I'll help you guys facilitate this trade, but just give me a player, give me some picks, da, 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 whatever. And then that's how you collect right. assets. And that's exactly what the fuck Boston did. And then Boston literally was out of the playoffs for like one year. And the next year- And look at them. And yeah. it was like, what? Like they was only out of the playoffs for a freaking year. And the next year they was back in it. And it was just like, yes. wow. Look how fast they did it. So this is what I'm proposing. And you, I don't know if you would, you would agree or not, but I propose the Lakers trade everybody, bro. Trade AD, trade LeBron, trade Westbrook. But I want them to facilitate those trades separately so that they can get the most for each player. Because if you try to bundle them, I feel like mm -hmm. you're not going to get the best deal. I feel like you need to trade them individually in order to get the best buck for like each player. That's I mean, remember what? Remember what Phil Jackson was saying, you know, he said, you know, we need to trade LeBron to get, you know, the work around Westbrook. I mean, I, I wouldn't trade. I would not trade LeBron. Keep LeBron where he's at. Get rid of everybody else. Get rid of everybody else. How are we going to make this work? Jimmy, Jenny, Jimmy, whatever her name is, Jenny Buss needs to do something to bring this team together. They got but you to would keep something. LeBron out of the whole team? Yes, keep LeBron. But why? He's in the twilight of his career. Right. I mean, he's age 19. He, he's not getting slow. He he's, is look, bro, he's in the twilight of his career. He's getting injured. Right. And on top of that, he already said he's basically leaving once his son leaves. The, if his son, unless the Lakers by some miracle get the chance to draft his son, he is leaving the Lakers to go to whatever team his son is playing for because he yes, wants to play he did, with his son. He did say that. So, but, um, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I and his son, it. dude's talented. But I, he's probably a second round pick, like to keep it a bug. He might go higher because teams might want LeBron. And it's like, it's kind of crazy to think about it too, because there's even whack ass teams that are going to take a, take a jab at LeBron mm -hmm. just to be like, sell tickets because they know that oh, yeah. LeBron and his son is going fucking, you know, they're going, it's going to make it. But, oh shit, we got 10. I mean, minutes. anywhere LeBron goes, honestly, anywhere LeBron goes, they're going to go to the playoffs besides this year. Anywhere LeBron goes, he's he's making that team better, and you know that. Nah, I don't know about that's a guaranteed playoff. Look at the Lakers, bro. He's been here. He's been here. This, for is, four the, this years. is the last time. This is the only time that the Lakers has not been to the playoffs. First season, too, bro. We didn't. First make, season. In the first season that he came when we had Brandon. Okay, okay you got. Okay, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm just saying. I but, feel like we should have just kept that core together and made it work. And then we should have just waited for AD, and AD would have came eventually. They shouldn't have got, honestly, they shouldn't have got rid of. Um, the three-point shooter they had when they won the playoffs. I forgot his name. And they shouldn't have got rid of uh, Dune, uh defensive player. What's his name? Are you talking about Paul Caldwell Pope? Caldwell Pope. Great. He played defense and he shoots. Yeah. Perfect. But Malik Monk does the same shit. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, Caldwell think... Pope was a better defender, though. But he's a better defender than yeah. Caldwell Pope. No, Caldwell Pope was a better, better, better defender than Monk, I think. Yeah, Monk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this? I mean, what? I don't know what they're gonna do. I think we need the AD that was actually was with the Pelicans. Yeah. That AD was a monster. He was fantastic. Yeah, but chances of that happening, I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> chances of that are very slim. This man been getting injured every single season, bro. If I am the Lakers, I'm blowing the team up. I'm trading everybody, and I'm getting whatever I can. And I'm trying to just build my team. <laughs> I'm just trying to build something out of nothing. Because, like, we kind of gave away. We get, like, really think about, bro, the players the Lakers gave okay. up. Julius Randle, Brandon Ingram, D'Angelo yep. Jordan, yep. D'Angelo Russell, my yep. bad. Jordan Clarkson, uh, Thomas Bryant. And look at him now. Yeah. And look at him now. Well, Julius Randle's, uh, but that first season he was with the Knicks, he was balling. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Thomas Bryant, who got injured, but was like a really key piece. He was even starting in freaking in Washington. Kyle Kuzma, mm -hmm. uh, what's Kyle Kuzma has not, I mean, he hasn't done anything after he left the Lakers. 
Now, I mean, he's been balling in Washington, but I mean, it's Washington. So it's like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's Washington. I mean, you got, Washington has I mean what, Bradley Bill? Isn't it Bradley Bill in Washington? Yeah, Bradley Bill's in Washington. It's just yeah. him and Bradley Bill just shoot the lights out. Like, I mean, it ain't nothing like it's Washington. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. I, I, <laughs> all right, I got a question. Would you take, would you send Bradley Bill over to the Lakers for Westbrook? Hell yeah, in a heartbeat, bro. That's that's easy. That's easy, bro. Like, what the hell? But are is Washington nah. gonna didn't Washington just trade that guy? They ain't gonna want him back. No, nah, they they haven't, yeah, you're right. They did trade him. But I mean, um, we have seen teams do that, like uh like Houston was trying to facilitate a trade to get Westbrook for John Wall. And I'm just like John Wall hasn't played in almost two years. But that means he's healthy. <laughs> that's the only thing I can say. But can he run? Can he run that court though? I mean, he can get in shape, hopefully. But um, but John Wall is another injury prone player, bro. That's another injury prone player. But I've seen it. Like you even seen the Celtics. The Celtics got um, I forgot his name. Thies, Daniel Thies. They traded Mm -hmm. him away and then traded him back. But um, things can do that. Yeah. Yeah, but um, all right. So we're gonna do this last little piece that we're gonna check out because I'm running out of time because it says time remaining for the meeting. (laughs) Okay. All right. So. What are your predictions? Who do you think is going to win uh, the, the championship, bro, out of these four teams that we have right now? Golden State. I got Golden State, too. I really think so. I think they got I want, I, I, I want Dallas to take them to seven. If Dallas takes them to seven, I really think that Dallas can probably beat them because game seven will probably be at Golden – well, no, Golden State because it will be at Golden State. And Golden State will actually will beat Dallas. So, I mean, these next two games are in Dallas. So, if they tie it 2-2, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think the only – I think that whatever happens, if if Dallas can take Golden State to the stretch, I right. think that will solidify Luka as, as a very, very good player. Like, he's already a good player, but I think that will solidify yeah. his legacy as his – uh, in, in in regards to his potential. And it's funny because they surrounded him with talent and it seemed to hold him back. And then now that they got rid of the talent that they brought to help him, and he right. just kind of like threw the team on his back, was like, all right, then let's make this happen. I mean, look at them playing with grown-ass men since he was 15 years old. Yep. That's, so, I mean, that's, a, good, that's a good point, bro. Like, that's another thing. Like, I think a lot of people kind of underestimate the Euro League, but these kids yeah. playing with grown-ass men at young ages, you know, so... Yeah, he said the NBA is uh, – he said European basketball is a lot tougher than the NBA now. It's only uh, because – it's only because in the NBA you can extort fouls. In the Euro League, you can't do that. Like, they don't – they don't – like, you know, there's ways. You see James Harden and Luka both do it all – oh, yeah, and Trey Young do it all the time. They extort mm-hmm. the fouling system, like, mm-hmm. in order to, in order to like, you know, go to the line. Like, those line free throws are freaking ridiculous, like, the numbers. Yeah. But – I got Golden State going all the way too, though, because I think Golden State could easily beat Dallas, uh, and I I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that Miami can put the nail in the coffin for Boston, because I don't want Boston in the finals. But that's just me. Yeah, though. I mean, because yeah, like you said, you're a Lakers fan, but Boston because that's is a nightmare showing. lineup again. Like honestly, yeah. Marcus Smart and uh and Brian and Brown, Brown him lined yeah. up against Cur- the the shooting of Curry and freaking Clay. I think that's like a, a that automatically kind of cancels out Golden State. Yeah, because Brown can Brown can guard Clay and Marcus Smart can guard Curry, or Brown can guard Curry and uh, Marcus Smart can guard Clay. So exactly. I mean, because I mean he didn't win Defensive Player of the Year for nothing. So facts, and we ain't seen a defensive guard in a year <laughs> Player of the Year in a while. <laughs> but right, um, so it's yeah. I mean from a guard. I mean who was the last person who won Defensive Player of the Year exactly. as a guard? There you go. The glove. I mean, he was a, he was a guard. I mean, he he won it when it was real competition in the NBA. Exactly. Real. You what? You had Dane, uh, Brandon, um, Brandon Russell. You had uh, Steve Nash. You had um, who else? You had all these smart guards, and he won Defensive Player of the Year as a guard. Man, exactly. Like, you know, he, I thought Giannis was probably going to get it, but, you know. I thought so, too. I thought he was going to get it. Him or uh, – it's always between him and Rudy Gobert. So, it was nice to see a guard thrown in the mix. But um, we're going to have to pick this – we're going to pick a part two up after – um after yeah, this, yeah. after the, the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference uh gets solidified, we're going to come yeah. back and we're going to talk about this again. But um, We can do it. 
No All right, problem. so go ahead and plug your channel one more time before we end this video. Yo, again, it's uh, D&J Movie Reviews. And you know, it's my boy D and you know, my boy Justin. So um, thank you so much for your support. And thank you for, again, for letting me be on your channel and you know, no talking problem. about sports and everything. I appreciate that, man. Uh, thank you for everything that you actually done for us when, you know, when we had it, needed help to get, you know, start you, you know, you boosted that. And, you know, uh, Derek, again, y'all, y'all, y'all put us up there and we really appreciate everything y'all do. Man, no problem. No problem. But make sure you guys go to that channel. Like I said, I'm going to drop that in the comment section down below. So make sure you click it and check them out. But until next time, you are now exiting the Cinema Chop Shop. Hope you guys have a magnificent day and adios, homies. Be good.